Hello, seven standard. Have a good day. I hope you have understood the portion so far. We have learned, and I am I'm sure you have written the test also well. Am I right? Today we are going to continue the lesson Unit Five, Basis of Classification. In this lesson, Basis of Classification, we have done classification for animal kingdom. and today we are going to continue classification for plant kingdom chaliya now this lesson before is over i want you to take the pdf for your lesson page 76 in that there is one exercise you need to fill up as fill up the blanks with the suitable organisms there are examples of figures given with the help of that you have to complete the blanks right first one vertebrates example you can given you can give from this fish bird and a dog any example kodla vertebrate there are not examples of the only fish bird dog you can give cat lion human like that any example you can give <coughs> fish bird dog and in here fish bird dog in vertebrates grasshopper crab cockroach grasshopper crab grasshopper crab book in the figure here grasshopper crab and cockroach cockroach the phylum arthropoda grasshopper crab they belong to phylum arthropoda so adhi you can add one more cockroach right so i repeat in vertebrates grasshopper crab and cockroach cockroach spelling C O C K R O A C H cockroach 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 spell. Okay. The next one named vertebrates with the wings. One pigeon, another one ostrich. Named the vertebrates with the wings. Pigeon na pula. Another one, ostrich. Pigeon and ostrich. Then the vertebrates with the wings. Pigeon and ostrich. Okay. Then fourth one, name the invertebrates with the wings. Name the invertebrates with the wings. Example, cockroach and butterfly. Not correct. Name the invertebrates with the wings: cockroach and butterfly. Okay. Then fifth one. Name the invertebrates with the segmented legs. Name the invertebrates with the segmented legs. Again, example: cockroach and pronged. P R A W N. And brown. Neither in vertebrates with the jointed legs, cockroach and brown. Okay. Then name the warm-blooded vertebrates, mammals and birds. Warm-blooded vertebrates, na they are homeothermic animals where they have constant body temperature. Warm blooded na they have constant body temperature. Example mammals and birds. Then eight one name the cold blooded vertebrates. Cold blooded na animals with they live in hmm fluctuation in temperature where they have fluctuation in temperature. They are called cold-blooded animal, and they are known also known as pyrothermic animal. 
Biculothermic animal. Example, fish, frog, garden lizard. Fish, frog and garden lizard. The ninth one, named vertebrates with lung respiration. Name the vertebrate with the lungs respiration. You can say human and any higher elements. Named animals with the beak. You can say it again as birds. Animals with the beak and the birds. I hope you understand. Yes sir. Huh? Then next page is 77. Page 77. In the table part. I think I have told you. I don't know how far you have filled up this table. Give Given table shows the name of the phylum and its characteristic features. Write the name of the animals belonging to respective phylum. First one, Polyphera. Example, Cyclone and Spongilla. Example, Cyclone and spongilla. Not panicum. Example, cycle and spongilla. We have to take page 77. Example, cycle and spongilla. Second, final cylindrate. They have the character gastrovascular cavity. Example, hydra. And jellyfish. Hydra and jellyfish. Second one, Hydra and jellyfish. Third one, take one, phyla, platyhelminthus, take one, and liver flow. Take one, and liver flow. Then fourth one, as round worm, round worm and then ascaris, fourth worm, round worm and in one of the words, mochiria, mochiria and again, it causes the disease elephantiasis, elephantiasis na yanakal chulula, kaal rende yani hoda kaal mari irukum, albere yanakal, okay, so round worm and mochiria. Then fifth one, phylum analia, atworm, phylum analia, atworm and nearest, atworm and nearest. Then sixth one, phylum anthropoda, approach and prana. Prana, era lachanella. Crab on Chalado, a day very dear. Then, phylum mollusca is apple snail. Snail on the la, common apple snail, chalbone. Okay. Then, phylum echinodermata, it is starfish. Starfish, sea lily in chalbone. Starfish and sea lily. Okay, then final cardata with the backbone, you can say frog, tiger and human. Frog, tiger and human. I hope you are able to follow this. And it will be number final name given and character is given and you are asked to fill up the Column with the examples. Edala, first phylum, Porifera, it is Cyclone and Spongilla. Phylum, Cilaprata, it is Hydra and Jellyfish. Phylum, Platyhelminthus, Tapeworm and Liver Fluke. Phylum, Nematoda or Ascalminthus, it is Roundworm and Vaucheria. Then fifth one, phylum Ananeda, it is example Atom and Nevis. Phylum Arthropoda, examples Cockroach and Ram. 
and seventh file mollusca example apple snail inno nande muscle solvanga nabe kada chippi nu oru chapter undare muscle appo nilu theriyu theriyu apple snail and muscle then file equidoraptor it is starfish and sea lily then phylum chordata on vertebrates example frog tiger and man i hope you have noted this clear there are many examples in our book le irukke you have to you can refer and fill up illana inda vande inda video va or second pass panitte irukirukkaran copy panna seriya nalla chalanuma can i write shall i continue next huh yes sir so cycon spelling padu go cycon and spongilla hydra and star and jellyfish tapeworm and liver fluke roundworm and boxeria headworm and nevis cockroach and prawn apple snail and mussel starfish and sea lily frog tiger and Clear up. Hmm? So with this animal kingdom examples written, right? The next we will move to plant kingdom. Next one, plant kingdom. Plant kingdom. Green color, you know, green color. See? And the plant kingdom. we know generally as plant kingdom we are studied as the uh, flowering plants we know then some of them they are fancy plants or ornamental plants particularly you know? and then in 6th standard we have learned as herbs shrubs and trees as small plants which live for 3 to 4 months or one season they are called herbs on annuals and those are living for two seasons but in one season they will grow and in the second season they will reproduce they are called biennials and third one they are perennials they live for many seasons many years they will grow and reproduce many times they are called perennials okay this is with mainly with reference to higher plants right now based on the nature of the key characters now animal kingdom la vande dichotomous key na padichunga dichotomous key dichotomous key enadhu we have one character whether it is present or absent present na or group absent na in our group so now mainly animals with the backbone adu vande or character all animals with the backbone they are included under vertebrates so animals without backbone they are included under invertebrates idu vande dichotomous key character so same way in plants also the same dichotomous key characters are present as with the based on the presence of seeds the production of seeds okay so plants which produce seeds and do not produce seeds plants which produce seeds and plants which do not produce seeds plants produce seeds plants produce seeds mari rendu character dichotomous key character and seed present in a one group absent in a another group seriya now the plant that do not produce seeds they are normally called cryptogams 
and non-flowering cryptogams and non-flowering whereas they are these are phanerogams phanerogams and flowering phanerogams and flowering oda seed producing plants i hope you understand plants which do not produce seeds they are called cryptogams me book la irukka theriyad paathuko illa enalo note pannunga they are called cryptogams and plants which produce seeds they are included under phanerogams and here they are non flowering plants and here they are non flowering and flowering but they produce seeds okay they are both non flowering and flowering and they but they produce seeds i hope you are following huh? now under cryptogams flowering non flowering plants they are grouped as and a they are grouped as and a mosses and ferns they are grouped as and a mosses and ferns i repeat based on the dichotomy scheme plant kingdom is classified into based on the presence or production of seed they are grouped as plants that produce seeds and plants that do not produce seeds plants that do not produce seeds they are also called cryptogams and plants that produce seeds they are called phanerogams <coughs> cryptogams are normally non flowering plants whereas phanerogams they are non flowering but, but they produce seeds and flowering plants definitely with the seeds are you clear hmm? now we will see the characters one by one for this first one is algae <coughs> algae enna solanum algae first they are green plants algae or algae they are green plants algae they are green plants and they are very enna sir pasi chulla the mala kalathula da vepasiya padalo thannila na padana ve pacha color la irukkula they are algae they are green plants aquatic aquatic na they are hydrophytes aquatic plants na they are water plants and those water plants are called hydrophytes hydro na water phyta na plants so they are hydrophytes i hope you understand hmm? so first characters of algae padikiram they are green plants aquatic forms are mostly found predominantly found in water and normally water plants are called hydrophytes so yeah and then they are having thallus and other normal higher plants ke root system iruko shoot system with the stem leaf flower uh, fruits la form of okay? it but it is not like that so it is called plant body the thallus plant body the uh, thallus is the plant body where absence of where absence of root stem and leaf root stem and leaves so yeah so algae plant body is called thallus 
where it is there is absence of root, stem and leaves. Abe pass even the tarela perform. And it may be and the tarus in the microscopic error, it may be unicellular or multicellular. Unicellular or multicellular. Unicellular example Clavida monas. Unicellular example Clavida monas. Multicellular example Spirodira. Multicellular example Spirodira and Cara. Number textbook example Cara. Are you able to follow this? Huh? So here. It may be unicellular, formed of single cell structure, and it is multicellular. Example, spirogera and cara. Okay, and then it may be filamentous. It may be filamentous or non filamentous. It may be filamentous. Or non filamentous. Non filamentous example, Planida monas. Filamentous example, Spirogera. Non filamentous example, Planida monas. Filamentous example, Spirogera. So, yeah. Now, this Planida monas, Planida monas structure is like this. Unicellular Zurichilla, it is a cup shaped structure with the near the nucleus. It is the chloroplast. It is chloroplast. It is Plamida monas structure. When a spirogyra, it is a filamentous form. Filamentous nucleus. Yeah. See that? Where it is. Spirogyra, spiral shape chloroplast. As the it is only cup shape chloroplast, it is a spiral shape chloroplast. I hope you understand. Hmm? So the fifth one, it is as branched or unbranched filament. Fifth character, the filament, it is filamentous or non-filamentous solito. And then it is branched or unbranched filament. Branched or unbranched filament. Okay. So branched filament. Example, it is called yellowtrix. Branched filament, it is yellowtrix. Whereas unbranched filament, spirogyra and cara. Cara and it is, I don't say, I will not say it is uh, filamentous. It is a little mari, leaf like structure. Okay. So, unbranched filament, example, spider layer. Branched filament, example, yellow prints. I hope you understand. You know, not the last type of chalana. Are you clear? Huh? The next one, chale. Huh? The next one, it is as reproduction, it is as one moment. It may be reproducing by sexual or asexual method. Reproduction is by sexual and asexual method. Sexual reproduction by the formation of schools. Whereas a uh, asexual reproduction is by the formation of spores. Asexual formation of spores. Or by vegetative propagation that is called fragmentation. So spiral layer will reproduce asexually by fragmentation method. A break any part of the, any bit of the spiral layer of filament when it is cut. 
an alloy to glue it is capable of gluing into two new filaments that is for asexual reproduction we will just continue hmm. so we are talking about reproduction there yeah? so reproduction it may be sexual asexual or vegetative methods asexual sorry vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation vegetative reproduction it is by fragmentation method for example spiral dynamics and asexual reproduction it is by the spores the spores are achenes achenes and the nastar cell nastar it is by achenes nastar and the oru blue green algae nastar and the blue green algae and a sexual reproduction it is by the method called conjugation <coughs> sexual reproduction it is by the method called conjugation conjugation again example spiral dyga where one example spiral dyga where two filaments two spiral dyga filament can see the board huh? two spiral dyga filament which are going to follow sexual reproduction in the spiral shaped chloroplast will develop a protuberance on both the side wall now as it proceeds on both the side at the point of contact there is a conjugation tube the space is there the compartment is there conjugation tube appo in the protoplasm content of the protoplasm in the two may inge vande idile one vande poitam where one is acting as male in the symbol of the male or in the symbol of the female one is acting as male another one female so in the male protoplasm vande female kulla vande fusion occurs and the fusion is going to be say fertilized egg there so there is here it is called zygospore zygote shall we talk it is called zygospore and there is no well formed sex organ as male and female only it is considered as male and female so here in algae sexual reproduction is also possible where in spiral dyga sexual reproduction takes place by the process called conjugation how does it occur the two compatible filament that is the two spiral dyga filament which is are going to uh, do sexual reproduction they lie side by side closer to each other and then one filament is behaving like male another one female so there is a protuberance or projection will occur at the side wall and then at the point of contact there is a tubular structure forming that is called conjugation tube <coughs> this conjugation tubular male protoplasm through the conjugation tube entering into female that way fusion occurs in the fused uh, fused egg the pair zygospore we don't call it as fertilized egg or zygote zygote so it is called zygospore and this sort further grow develop into new spirogyra filament i hope you understand huh? these are the characters for algae sorry Now this algae, now particularly now, it is coming under the major plant kingdom, Thallophyta. It comes under major plant kingdom, Thallophyta. Thallo referring to thallus, phyta referring to plants. Okay. 
So first, I repeat, the characters of algae, it is a green plant, aquatic hydrophytes. As it is a green plant, capable of producing, they have green pigment chlorophyll. They have green pigment chlorophyll, so they take part in photosynthesis. They are capable of doing photosynthesis. So they can prepare their own food. I hope you understand. Hmm? Then the repeat algae green plant. As it is green, we say it contains chlorophyll. And as it contains chlorophyll, this algae can prepare their own food by the process photosynthesis. And the photosynthesis, this aquatic form photosynthesis, <coughs> then it is having predominantly chlorophyll pigments are present. I hope you understand. Hmm? Then one more, thallus, it is called plant body, it is called thallus, absence of root, stem and leaf. And here the cell wall material, it is called cellulose. The cell wall material is called cellulose. And then the algal filament, they are microscopic, they may be unicellular or multicellular, unicellular, example, Chlamydomonas, multicellular, Spirogrida and Chara. From the textbook, example, Chara, the Chara and Chara. Okay. Then, unicellular, they have, they are non-filamentous, whereas Spirogrida, multicellular, it is filamentous. And in filamentous form, it may be branched or unbranched. Then asexual reproduction, sorry, reproduction by vegetative method. Uh, vegetative method by fragmentation, asexual reproduction by the formation of spores and acarnex, and sexual reproduction, it is by the method of conjugation. <laughs> Example, Spirogaida, whereas in Canada, in Canada, the sexual reproduction, it is taking place in Canada, sexual reproduction occurs by the male, male, it is called, male six of them, it is called antheridium. In Canada, and female, the sex organ is called archegonium. In our book, like a little bit, Canada, we undergo sexual reproduction where the male sex organ is called antheridium, and female sex organ it is archegonium. So, this is the characters for algae. The next one, it is for mosses. In the mosses, again, we have the characters named for the mosses. Second one, mosses. Normally, they are green plants. Now here it is forming an amphibious type. It is amphibious plant. What does it mean? This these mosses it needs it lives as aquatic form and terrestrial form and it needs moisture to complete its life cycle. Hence the name amphibians. Okay. And here, in lower group of mosses, the talus like plant body is present. But as this uh, mosses advances, it has root like, this is root, root like, stem like, and leaf like plants will be present. 
that is a true root stem and leaf. It is a root like stem like and leaf like structure. Example mosses even the funaria. Funaria even the leaf like. The center portion stem like. It is the root like. Example this one. This is called capsule, a reproductive structure. This is known as capsule reproductive structure. Okay, so mosses, plant body, it is not differentiated into two root, stem, and leaf. They are water living plants and it needs moisture to complete its life cycle. Though it is reproducing with the presence of Water only, it can complete its life cycle. That is, reproduction will occur, fertilization will occur. And so, they are called amphibious plant. And they do not have any special vascular tissues for conduction of water and food. It looks like a plant. And there is no vascular tissues as Xylem and phloem present. Again, I not know. In higher plant, xylem conducts water and phloem conducts food material. And the one arms and mosses. So, yeah. And the mosses land plant aquarium, first occurrence of the plants on land. Otherwise, aquatic love, most of them are algae love, most of them are aquatic. Plants. So, yeah. Now just to follow this, trees and rocks of hilly areas are covered by thick green carpet of tiny plants. And the small plants are bryophyte. Okay. They are the first plant to come out of water to get adapted to live on land. But they can reproduce only in presence of water. So, yeah. Then it has root like, stem like, leaf like structure and they reproduce both by sexually and asexual method. And uh, vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation and gemma formation. It is given gemma formation. The gemma na or a cup like structure. Another uh, reproduction in mosses. Mass plant and I think the video will in the plant and one of it in the So these are the characters of mosses. Okay. Then third one, it is for I hope you understood. The diagram on a puri lay alone make a So third one is for third. Ferns. Ferns are normally included under a group called peridophyte. They are the amphibians, so they are included under bryophyte. Now, we are going to do the other ones. They are the peridophyte and bryophyte. So, this amphibious plants, they are coming under bryophytes and ferns are coming under pteridophytes and these ferns they have well differentiated root stem and leaf and root system is well developed and the stem and leaf with the branches are present but root system there is no difference of taproot and fibrous root system there is a center thick root with the branches. Chariya. And then occurrence of conductive tissue or vascular tissue, xylem and phloem is starting from this uh, plant group, pteridophytes or ferns. In the pteridophytes layer, there are three different uh, groups. First fern, then another one it is called club mosses. And the group is like, now, the fern matto. 
In the fern, it is an ornamental plant where the end leaf of this fern it is called end leaf of fern. Fern it is called frond. And the end leaf will be having the end leaf it will be having leaf structure like this. Very early, early in the fern uh, ornamental plant. So, yeah. And the in the space between them, in the, the reproductive structure will be necessary. In the, the gap, this is called sorus. The oral sorus layer, moon and sporangium. And the mari, it is reproducing. So, ferns plant body is well differentiated into root, stem and leaf and the leaf may be smaller or larger so leaf. And then the young leaves when they are present at the plant it is coiling like a watch spring. The watch spring and the chutti is and the mari, the fern plant like young leaves will be coiled like that. They are called fraud. Now, as the leaf matures, it will uncoil and forming a leaf like this. And the leaf in the very brown dot form. They are called sorus. They are the asexual spores. Okay. Then specialized vascular tissues are found for the conduction of water and food. And basically, they are the first land plants which grows well in <coughs> shady, moist and cool places. Example, Adiantum. Adiantum is a variety of fern growth. Adiantum is a variety of fern growth. So here, the first, you know, the first successful land plant Successful first group of cryptogram to live on land with the vascular system, it is called pteridophyte. And they are called vascular cryptograms because of the presence of xylem and phloem. Xylem convex water, phloem convex food material. And it is said they are present, these plants are present ever since Jurassic period. The evolutionary history part of the past history the Jurassic period the occurrence of endophytes are present. They are identified. So it is right from Jurassic period it is present. Okay. The leaves are called frond where they bear sporangium on the lower side and they are existing in two forms so it is dimorphic example Salatinella. then here it is actually <coughs> stem is a rhizome and the spores may be uniform size homosporous or smaller and bigger as micro and mega spores then <coughs> First, plants reproduce <coughs> asexually and then producing sexual reproduction. This is for the <coughs> tender one, <coughs> sir. So, reproduction. First, they reproduce. Asexually by the formation of spores, then sexual reproduction. I hope you understand. Huh? So, this is for the group for where plants do not produce seeds. We have three categories as plants that do not produce seeds first one, algae, second one, mosses, third one. I hope you understand. Huh? Diagram, Shall I go to next? 
next one this plants that produce seeds in that it is again as plants that produce seeds it is as genus form plants that produce seeds they are as genus form and angiosperms they are phanerogams okay we'll just continue plants that produce seeds they are as two groups gymnosperm and angiosperm sorry all again gymnosperm they are seed producing but they are non flowering plant whereas angiosperm they are flowering plant i hope you understand hmm? but before i go to that this is a small uh, additional information for algae you just listen okay algae that that is a important or in a sort of unique character as talus organization talus organization the the plant body absence of root stem and leaf ne chale clear and it has wide range of talus arrangement okay so first it ranges from microscopic to unicellular form to giant seaweed seaweed in the algae la undu innol undu nariya points irukku namakku book la illa illadhu solla algae la there are different pigmentation but chlorophyll the dominant pigments other than that the pigments as xanthophyll carotenoid phycoerythrin phycocyanin and nariya pigments are based on that algae are classified as <coughs> green algae blue green algae red algae brown algae having a different color combination with the predominant pigments but ellathile me chlorophyll will be present but in brown algae red algae lalla the chlorophyll pigments are hidden mainly lalla brown algae na brown pigment will be dominant chlorophyll pigment is hidden clear so that pigmentation is playing a major role in algal characters same way the algae they have storage component as chloroplast the chloroplast and the normal green pigment la containing chlorophyll and this chloroplast it is having different shapes in different green algae in chlamydomonas it is cup shaped chloroplast in spiragyra it is spiral shaped chloroplast in another green algae called the zygnema where it has star shaped chloroplast and maybe in the pair of it say the algae they are named right same way in the thallus one they are microscopic to unicellular multicellular cellular and sea weed na chella the chinna chedi mari irukune kadalla la pathena the kaala chinna chedi brown color la avadum they are actually algae so giant sea weed and example macrocystis then some of them they occur in colony or they occur in single chlamydomonas and occurring in single form whereas colonial and example valvas na board la edi kollu just understand example valvas okay same way it may be branched or unbranched branched na it is filamentous okay and then the algae it may be motile presence of cilia as the locomotory organ example chlamydomonas or non motile it will not move example chlorella chariya and then if it is a branched if it is an unbranched filament the last filament 
which is attached to the substratum. Substratum is the rocky region. The algae is the pare that is not there. So the pare is the pare is the water and the filament is very hold fast. Now then this cubic color is now the next understanding in the question for the way. Just to put it for the creative look like it. Okay. And then some of the algae are macroscopic. Example, Kalatva, Sargasam, Laminaria and Fucus. I hope you understand. And then as different talus organization for the as far as possible now the pictures for the way. With that you will understand. So this is talus organization for algal I hope you understand. In the middle, bryophyte go, silly silly important characters if they that I will give in QB. Other name, persona that I will ask for creative questions. I hope you understand. We do have the next video class. The characters of gymnosperm and angiosperm. We will study in next video class. Right? I hope you have understood. We will continue in the next class. Thank you.